Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Main Street Remedy. We try to tell you what's good about some of these little towns and what they can do to improve. Let's start with Littlefield, Texas today. It's our featured town on the Main Street Remedy. Now, Littlefield is a town that I've been to several times. I actually worked there for a short period of time just a few years ago. I find it to be a very pleasant town. It is predominantly Hispanic. There are about, uh, oh, I'd say almost as many Anglo people that live there, and there's a large African-American community that lives in Littlefield. So you have the diversity, if you want that. Long time ago, a man by the name of George Washington Littlefield bought up part of the XIT ranch and started the town of Littlefield. He also knew that there was a railroad that was going to be built through there that went up to Texaco, New Mexico. And there have been some very tragic rail accidents. We don't need to talk too much about the 1973 train accident. Littlefield has the Continental Dairy Producers now, a subsidiary of select milk producers, and they make over 300 pounds of dairy products. I don't know if it's weekly or, but it, anyway, it's a vast plant that provides jobs for the community. After not that long ago, yeah, I think it was 2017 that the American cotton growers shut down their denim textile plant. And as it turned out, select milk producers came in and decided to build this, the fifth largest uh, dairy producing plant in the entire country. And that is located in Littlefield. You'll also find a great library there, Laurel Anne, a, a vociferous reader, helped found the, the Lamb County Library. There were also some, well, another little kind of interesting tidbit that part of the Columbia disaster spacecraft was found in a field near Littlefield. Where I've really been enjoying is going downtown. At one time, there was a radio station down there, and there was a movie theater. Both of them have since disappeared, but Waylon Jennings' brother, I forget his first name, but at Waymore's, they have a small Waylon Jennings Museum at Waymore's, so stop there and then go across the street where they used to have a concert with uh, Shooter Jennings, and I, I don't know if they still have a country music uh, concert or festival in the summer like they used to, but you'll uh, enjoy going through the small Waylon Jennings Museum. The other famous person, and it's hard to believe this, but Tom Jones, the famous playwright, not the singer, uh, is also from uh, Littlefield, Texas, the downtown is the part that we wanted to talk about. There are so many empty buildings in downtown Littlefield. I would invite you to go down and try to start a business in Littlefield. They Apparently they did what Borger, Texas has done and to some degree uh, Las Cruces, New Mexico, they did this transformation of the downtown so that it was a one lane, two lane, and they have tried to make it into a park atmosphere rather than allowing the traffic to, I don't know, they, they did something in the, in the uh, 70s and 80s that wasn't too successful. Um, Waylon Jennings' brother was telling me that when Waylon was an usher at the movie theater, Lash LaRue came to town and actually took out his whip and put a hole in the screen. And so for many years, there was this hole in the screen at the movie theater there. 
And that's where Buddy Holly came to ask Waylon Jennings to be part of of uh, his crickets for a short period of time. The biggest fault that I have is the downtown needs diversity. It needs more attention. There's that back street, which looks like an alley. There's, I don't know what is, there's beautiful old buildings that are, the glass is being broken. There's, it's, you know, it's, it's in kind of bad shape. This is a, a main street that definitely needs revitalization. So if, if you're looking for a place to start a town or to start a business, go to Littlefield. It's about 7,000, maybe 8,000 people now. And the people support the local businesses. So that's really not the issue. But there's plenty of spaces to locate. And uh, they need to bring people downtown whatever they can do to uh, boost the, the town. They need probably festivals. They need something happening all the time, a, a farmer's market downtown, a, a mercado. There's so much that needs to be, to be done in Littlefield, and I'm not quite sure. I, I, I'm positive there are people that are trying to bring businesses there, but it's a, it's a struggle However, you will enjoy visiting Littlefield, Texas. This is Dale Harapot on the Main Street Remedy. Have a great day and support us.